What's up guys this is Shivayan and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your windows update has the error code of 0x8007002 on windows 10 or windows 11. But before I begin with the video I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems then just comment down below and we'll try to make a solution video for you. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing you can do is check your time settings as it might cause this problem as well so for this go to your windows search and search for control panel once you open up the control panel search for date and time then click on date and time and then press change date and time and make the corrections if necessary then configure your time zone before pressing ok and then press on the internet time tab and change settings then take the synchronize with internet time server option and choose the time server from the list as time.windows.com Select update now and then press OK and after this restart your computer before accessing the windows update and check whether that fixes the problem. If that does not fix the problem, the second solution is removing any peripherals. So most windows update errors occur usually from the conflict between different peripheral devices attached to the system. To solve this, uh, what you can do is remove all the extra peripheral devices like microphones, webcams, printers, etc. And after that, restart your PC and check whether that fixes the problem. The third solution is checking available drive space. So if the system doesn't have enough drive space to download the update, you'll most likely face this issue. Although windows always keep a certain amount of space reserved for updates you can maybe run out of it and not be able to update your windows so to check just open your file explorer and check how much available space you have in the os drive which is usually the c drive on your pc if there is very less storage then empty it out a bit and clear some unnecessary files and check whether that fixes your problem the fourth solution is running the windows update troubleshooter so for that just open up your windows settings by going to windows search and searching for settings then choose troubleshoot under the systems tab then click on other troubleshooters and then click on run next to windows update the windows update troubleshooter will pop up and look for any available issues and try to fix it so just follow the instructions on the screen and once it gets completed restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem the fifth solution is enabling windows update service so for that just go to your run dialog box and you can do that by pressing the windows key and the r key at the same time then type in services then press enter and once the services dialog box opens up locate and double click on windows update service then change the startup type to automatic and click start if the service isn't already running then click apply and ok and then also make sure that you do the exact same thing for cryptographic services background intelligent transfer service also known as bits and application identity so make sure that all of them are enabled startup type set to automatic and are running as well the sixth solution is deleting software distribution folder. So the software distribution folder is found on the C drive on your system. That is the OS drive. So it is where the folder for all windows updates are. Now it may turn out that some files in that folder are corrupt and therefore you might need to delete that folder to resolve this error code of windows update. So to do this go to your file explorer and navigate to the C drive then the windows folder then search for and delete the folder named software distribution. You may also choose to rename the folder as software distribution old in case you do not want to delete it. That's completely fine as well. Just rename it or delete the folder known as software distribution and then restart your PC and check if it fixed the 0x8007002 error code for you. Now the seventh solution is temporarily disabling the Microsoft Defender firewall. So sometimes an installed antivirus program can also cause this issue and to fix this you have to temporarily disable it so the first thing you have to do is make sure that you disable your antivirus software and check for the that fixes the issue then what you have to do is press the windows key and open up the start menu and type in windows security in it then choose firewall and network protection from the left panel and then choose private network then disable the toggle under microsoft defender firewall and if a uac pops up just click on yes then if the problem still continues news just enable the firewall again as that is not the problem okay so the eighth step to solve this issue is resetting the windows update services for that go to your windows search and open up command prompt 
and for opening the command prompt you have to right click on it and select run as administrator once you run command prompt as an administrator then just type in the following commands i'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out and once you run all of these commands then try updating windows again and check if the error still exists now the ninth solution to solve this issue is modifying the registry editor so for that press your windows key and the r key at the same time to open up the run dialog box then type in regigit in it and then press enter then go to the following path h key local machine software microsoft windows current version windows update and then os upgrade then select the os upgrade key right click on the empty area on the right pane and click new then click on dword 32 bit value then right click on the newly created new value number one and select modify and change the value name to allow os upgrade then after that just double click and then under the value data just select one and select hexadecimal and click ok then restart your computer and check if that fixed the issue the fifth solution is troubleshooting with a clean boot so this is quite a useful troubleshooter what you do is go and start your system configuration you can do that by pressing the windows and r key at the same time to open up run and then type in ms config once you open up the ms config disable all the background programs and you can do that by going to the journal tab and deselecting load startup items then click on services to access that tabs option and select hide all microsoft services to ensure you don't disable some essential system services then just click on disable all to remove the list of third party services from your startup and press apply and ok to save settings then exit the system configuration tool and restart your pc once you restart the pc and if it fixed this issue then what you have to do is start enabling the services that you just disabled one by one to find out which one was causing the issue for you and then just simply remove that service or block it and then finally the 11th solution is running the dism and sfc commands so these commands are very useful as well just open up start and then type in command prompt then right click on it and select run as administrator again and once you do that type in the following commands for a quick fix of your pc the dism online cleanup image check health scan health and restore health commands and then sfc scan now these commands are useful for scanning your pc and automatically installing the broken or missing windows files on your pc i'll link all of these commands down in the description below for you to check out don't worry and once you restart your computer check if that fixed the issue so this was it for the video guys i hope this actually solved your problem and if it did make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot and if it didn't just comment down below and we'll try to figure out your problem and solve it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video until then bye